All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a shirt unboxing today. I've got six shirts arrived. We'll have a look at three and we'll go through some questions that I constantly get asked in the comments on my videos and on my Discord. So this is my Discord. There is a link down in the description. We have our own Discord page, which is named Kit Two G, which is named Kit kitgg2.com as you can see there it's right in the under the general this is where all the lads who are in my community chat about delivery show off the shirts that they've got any delivery problems sizes problems i'll go through things but i suggest that you join the discord down in the description all right guys so i get my shirts at the moment from kit2gg they cost around 15 pounds all you need to do is make an account, make an order. To make an order, you then send a WhatsApp message with your order number that's get, that's given to you at checkout. And then from there, they'll then send you a link to PayPal. Now, I like to do everything through PayPal because it's the safest way. You're not putting your bank details in. You're literally sending money via PayPal. So if the worst comes to the worst, you've already kind of lost the money that you've lost on the shirts. However, I have ordered, I've probably had nearly close to, well over probably 50 shirts from these now, probably nearly close to 100 with all the ones that I've got my little boy. Never had a problem in terms of orders. If there's an issue with order, they always sort it. As I said, get on your phone, get on WhatsApp, and they always reply pretty promptly. Any other questions, as I said, join the Discord. Loads of people are now joining the Discord just to ask simple questions, show off what shirts they're getting, etc. All right, so I've got six, I've got four shirts to show you. Unfortunately, two I got for the boy. I'll put a picture up now. He uh, suddenly decided he, he couldn't wait for me to do a video. He had to wear them now. He's picked up the Brighton shirt and the Aston Villa third shirt, but he wanted Martinez on it because it kind of looked like a goalkeeping shirt. He's seven, we let him do it, but really good value. Cost about 15 quid. No socks with it, but you do get the shirt and shorts. He's extremely happy. The printing on the back is actually pretty damn Good. Now, people have been asking about sizes a lot recently. Now, this is a large men's. This also came from Kit, Kit GG. This is a large men's. If I was buying this in JB Sports or Sports Direct or wherever, I would be buying a large men's. Fan versions are generally a little bit bigger than the player version. So if you stick to fans and just order the size you get, I think if you're in between sizes and you're quite close, always size up. And I said, look, the best thing to do is just trial and error. People ask me all the time about sizes. I can't give you an honest opinion because we're all different shapes and different sizes. So my suggestion is go with it. If you're a comfortable large, go with large. If you're on the verge of extra large, get into extra large and just buy one, you know, buy one for 15 quid. If it's going to be a little bit big, it's not going to be the end of the world, is it? So that'd be my advice. All right. So those are the two shirts that I spoke about with Ralphie. My Patreon. So I give out two free shirts a month to my Patreons just to thank them for the support. Um, link to the description for that if you want to get a chance of winning a shirt every month. Um, Adam, the first guy, has chosen this special edition AC Milan shirt. There we go. As I said, this one's cost around 15, I think it was about 14 pounds. Let's have a little look. How much was it? There we go. With the three badges that I've got him on, he's cost less than £15. Delivery can be free as well. Now, I get the paid delivery, so they come in about three weeks. That's entirely up to you. Obviously, the more shirts you order, the bigger the parcel. But if you want to add maybe an extra four or five quid on to your postage for postage and get it maybe within three weeks, these will come in 20 days. If you want them to come a little bit quicker then my suggestion would be to do the postage. If you're in no rush, I said there is the free postage option. If you do the paid postage option as well, you get a Royal Mail delivery um, code as well, so you can track your order once it lands in the country. So there we go. There's this. I mean, that is an absolute belter, isn't it? I think I'm pretty close to ordering that. I can't remember. I've ordered, I've got three other companies interested in sending me shirts, and I've made and a ridiculous amount of shirts recently, and I can't remember what I've actually ordered. But there you go, Adam. That will be sent to you on Friday. So that'll be on its way to you. Thank you very much, buddy, for your support. And George McKay, he has been with me a long time on the channel, another Patreon, and he has got his name and number on the back. So as you can see, it's quite in good condition. My advice is always with these shirts is when you first arrive with the name and number, remember you're paying £12 and not £80. So there is slight issues sometimes on name and numbers. Um, my suggestion would be wash it on lowest possible settings, so like 20 degrees. I also suggest when you're washing it, before you wear it and before you wash it, greaseproof paper, very light iron, just to iron down any little creases, any little sort of like nick bits that may be nicking. But to be fair, George, yours looks pretty good. He has gone for, and I've never seen one before, 
the long sleeved Arsenal shirt. I've got the badge on extra as well. And to be fair, George, that's an absolute belter. Absolute belter. Badge nicely done. There you go. Visit Rwanda on the other arm, as you can see. That, my friend, is an absolute belter. And I said, that'll be on its way to Kilmarnock for you. And then I ordered two for myself. I've gone Bundesliga. Um, I noticed this shirt. I wanted it. I'm a big fan of sort of like Union Berlin, as it's everyone's new club. Um, but their home shirt is just a little bit... Uh, just a little bit plain, shall we say. So there is the two home. The way shirt's not bad. The home shirt's just a little bit boring. And then I came across this one. This was a shirt that was, as in I've put in the thumbnail, rumoured to be released, and it's never actually been released. I just thought it was a nice shirt, just something a little bit, just something a little bit different. So there you go, Mellow Park. It's got the Union Berlin writing through it on the back. I have decided to go for a name and number. I've gone for Trek eighty six just to give it a little bit of something on the back. I've not had a printed shirt for a while. That actually looks feels really good in terms of printing. So there we go, Trek eighty six. Let me know your thoughts. There is loads of fan edition shirts. Ones that are like, there is a couple that are shockers, but there's a few Napoli ones, a few like Brazil ones, Messi ones for Argentina as well. So I just fancied something a little bit different. It's got some lovely detailing as well on the front and then obviously on the back. Embroidered badge. There you go. Embroidered badge as well. There you go. And then the last one, I have gone for the new Borussia Dortmund blacked out kit. You can barely see it to be fair. I don't know if it's a good copy or not. Um, on the back, we've got the name and number on. There is Jude Bellingham, Dortmund, 22. It's a nice shirt. It's actually something you could probably wear out. It feels nice and light. Um, you can see the logo. Obviously, the blacked out stuff is right there, but it looks pretty decent, doesn't it? And as I said, that has cost less than £15. Absolute beauty. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments which of those four shirts that I've shown you today is your favourite. Is it the AC Milan? Is it my Union Berlin, the Arsenal long, leaf sh long sleeve shirt, or is, it, or is it the Dortmund Special Edition jersey? All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I said, join the Discord. I have about 30 shirts that I'm looking to get rid of at some point. I'll probably give them out on, on the... I'll probably give them out in my Discord at some point over the next few months because shirts are just getting a little bit out of control here. Um, I've got boxes, I've got drawers full of football shirts. I'll probably ask for you guys to maybe just pay for the postage, maybe like five quid or something, just so I can get the postage sorted and sent across to you. So if you're interested, if you wear large men's as well, there is probably up to nearly 30 shirts going to be going on my Discord. So make sure you join the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know where you get your fake football shirts from if you buy fake football shirts where do you get them from don't leave the link because it'll get deleted but leave the name of the website that you get your fo fake football shirts from all right guys take care see you soon for the next one so we've got three other chinese companies wanting to send some shirts for me to do honest reviews on said so i'm always honest if i'm not happy with the quality i will make sure i let you know all right guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe see you later